All right, second try of making this video. In the first one, I accidentally forgot to record my screen, which is very nice. But I guess if you click on this video, you wanna know how you can do this spinjitsu that I had in my recent animation. And I will show you how it's how I did it. And I created a rig for it so that I will be sharing with you. So um yeah, basically you won't even have to watch this video if you just wanna go ahead use this rig. I will quickly explain you how to use it. Um, so you have these controllers, right? Um, that you can move individually, and then you these ones you don't really need to touch. It's just for rotation, like around here, you know, the spinning. And it's already keyed, so you don't have to touch them really. And then this is the route, basically, to move it. But I wouldn't recommend you to use it as, as rotation. If you want to rotate the whole thing, I would just yeah rotate these individually or you know together. But I wouldn't recommend you to do that because it kind of messes up everything so yeah basically you can use this for like location but don't use this for that. Um, also the animation it's basically just a bunch of uh, noise modifiers add it to the location but you can just, I will probably in the version uh, that you can download, I will delete those, but I have this as an example setup. So basically, yeah, that's, that's the rig and you can go ahead, download it. But now I will also show you a bit how it's basically done, uh, how it works. So if you want to create your own version, maybe improve something, yeah, then I will go a little bit deeper in how that works. So basically, we will start with how I tr how this geometry is made and then the displacement and stuff. Um, you have the inside and then the outside, which they look basically Wait a minute, let me just hide and get one as an example. You have this geometry, which is then displaced and stuff. And I will go into that a little bit later in this video. But uh, basically how you will do that. Um, let me just, oh, um, I think I deleted it. So basically you could just add a cycle. cycle then you would apply scale obviously and then go ahead and add some geometry to it so so and then you just have to add an array modifier you can do that for example and then you would do as high as you want then you need to add a lattice, which don't apply the scale, it's just a tip, quick tip. Don't apply the scale of the lattice, because it messes everything up. Um, yeah, that would be right enough. And you add a lattice modifier, add this one here. It's just you could also like do it manually, but this is like the quickest way you can do it. Basically, you would do that kind of like this, and then you basically you're just shaping how you want it to look. This looks pretty good to me, so I will apply these modifiers, and uh, it's important that you apply 
it's in that order because if you do it the other way it won't really work so yeah. and then you can delete it and then you can add the other stuff but I won't do that now because I already have these and then I just quickly will show you how the displacement and stuff is done so yeah uh, let me go ahead I will just show that on this one so um, the displacement is basically then you add a displacement modifier well that's kind of obvious and then I have wait a minute I have this folder here where you can have you have these two this is basically just a here a, a cyclic path so yeah you just have this and then I have an empty this is control displacement control because um, this one is what you choose as an you, you do this displace object and then you choose this one and then you can add a texture and play with the strength and stuff like that but the important part is f to get the animation you have basically I, what I've done you could probably do this a bunch of different ways but I I do it like this so it's kind of like I've animated the offset and then I've added a cycles modifier could probably also do it like repeat with offset that wouldn't change anything but yeah so the next thing is how do we get this basically wait a minute uh, let me just okay I will again do that and then I want to add back also and then I go to the rig so how do I get these controls this is also honestly pretty simple so I have um, I have this folder here right no yeah I have this folder and you can see here the wait, wait. <laughs> never mind sorry um, I have this folder here and basically I can show this qu quickly I have these five empties that control these and those are parent to uh, the bones in the rig and basically what how you get that is um, by I've added a lettuce once again and you can see it's basically that is what these controllers would also do if I would move them and then I've added some hook modifiers to every single entity and assigned those uh, vertices to those and yeah basically then I parented those to this one so that way I control this, uh, sorry, yes, and that's how I get those, like I would it, I would call it dynamic motion because if I would have just this it would look very like lame, so basically that's why you have, I've added this so it's more dynamic, wait a minute, I've just delete it keyframes here and that looks way more dynamic and you can also like do anything basically <laughs> with it that's also like if I wanted to I could just <laughs> whatever you would do that I could do like a ball <laughs> this looks kind of weird but it's it's you could do that it is possible uh, 
Uh, yeah. All right then, so now I will just quickly go into the material. You can see right here, it's a basic, very basic material, but still you can like control things like the emission strength or the colors, obviously. So this one, although it doesn't make that much of an impact. You can also play with this. You can see as you go higher, it kind of like fades away, which is, which might be a nice effect for you. Um, and yeah, you can play with that. But I guess then, also obviously, you can also add your own material. Forgot to mention that. Um, yeah, so basically, that is, um, I guess this is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you do some cool stuff with the rig. I will put the link in the description. And yeah, see you around.